Hi, we are going to talk about menstruation and menstrual cycle now in further detail. Okay, let's begin with an uh, introduction to menstruation. Menstruation is the discharge of broken uterine lining. So what is the content of the broken uterine lining or broken uterus lining? The broken uterine lining consists of mostly dead cells. There are dead cells from the uterine lining itself, it contains blood, and also unfertilized egg cells, of which there should only be one. Menstruation is a natural process that starts during puberty. In fact, it's taken to be the signal where puberty begins in a female. The passage of the menstrual flow is through the vagina. Menstruation only occurs if the ovum that was released during that particular cycle did not get fertilized by a sperm cell. What if there was fertilization? If there is a fertilization, there would not be menstruation because the uterine lining will remain intact in order to support the implantation of the fertilized egg into the uterine lining, developing into a fetus. Okay, menstruation generally lasts for a number of days, but again, this is very subjective. Menstruation it differs from person to person. In also, it also differs from cycle to cycle. Some people have very regular periods of menstruation, whereas some people may have relatively irregular periods of menstruation. So how long does the menstruation last? We're going to assume it lasts for approximately 3 to 7 days or 5 days if you want to take an average. This is always assumed to be the case an average. Depending on the health or activity level of the person, the cycle may be different. Okay, now, what does the menstrual cycle consist of? If menstruation is considered at the beginning, what comes after that? So in the picture down here, we can see a circle. We can see this area here describing the general events of the menstrual cycle. I'm going to talk about these ones first. During the first to sixth day, as said to inside this picture, menstruation occurs. This is usually 14 days after the last ovulation. What is ovulation? Ovulation is approximately around day 14 of a menstrual cycle. And it is the process where the ovum is released. And I shall mark that out. Only one ovum is released by default. The release of the ovum during each menstrual cycle is ovulation. We will assume a regular menstrual cycle of 28 days. Again, I mentioned this is not always the case depending on the person. This may differ between individuals. Now, if menstruation has completed around this time over here, what will happen? Now, after menstruation is done, the uterine lining will start to grow again and they will become thicker. During this period, the uterine lining will become richer in blood vessels. This is to prepare to supply nutrients and oxygen to the developing embryo and fetus. Once that stage is sufficient, ovulation occurs. Now ovulation, we're going to assume, occurs on day 14 usually. In reality, ovulation can be slightly before or slightly after. It is very subjective, very difficult to predict sometimes. But it is always the same case where during ovulation, a mature ovum is released from one of the ovaries. And then we come to the next stage. After ovulation, 
the uterine lining will continue to thicken a bit and it will stay thick until around day 28. If there was no fertilization, the uterine lining will break down by around day 28. The egg cell would have already died because the egg cell can only last for about two days at most. On average, it's one day. So, what happens? If the uterine lining breaks down, menstruation starts all over again. And we will consider that the beginning of a new cycle. 